it all. The glory of summer on a quiet waterway, with town and traffic merely a distant memory. How relaxing to glide along, alone with the song of the birds and the lapping of the water. Every year, British waterways turn this peaceful dream into reality for more and more people looking for a holiday that is different and discovering that hundreds of miles of our inland waterways are available for pleasure cruising. British Waterways Base, a holiday booking made months ago, perhaps by mail or at the boat show in London, is about to become a reality, as some of the fleet of higher cruisers are made ready for their visitors. The bases from which these boats may be hired are to be found all over the country, at Birmingham, Nottingham, Leicester and Oxford, at Southall near London, Hillmorton near Rugby and Middlewich in Cheshire. Although British waterways operate higher cruisers and passenger vessels themselves, there are some 60 private firms running similar craft in all parts of the country. Canal cruisers range from two berth craft for low budget cruising to the four to six berth family boat, having all the amenities of a floating home. party boats, which can even absorb a troop of scouts and their gear, sleeping them on board. A mobile camping site. Tuition is given in the use of each cruiser before the hirer sets out. Fuel, oil and water tanks have all been filled up before he takes over. After a trial spin to get the feel of the vessel, it only remains to get acquainted with the daily routine and maintenance of the craft one is hiring, and with the code of conduct for users of the inland waterways, whether it's navigation, yielding priority to commercial vessels, or the operation of locks and bridges. Once this information has been passed on, it's cast off the mooring ropes, and you are underway. To Oxford, or Hangochland, along the Shropshire Union or the Grand Union, the Trent and Mersey, or the upper reaches of the Severn. Awaiting them is a new world, the peaceful world of the waterside. Strange new aspects of the landscape, seen from cutting or viaduct. Most welcome of all, a world of silence. Only bestirring oneself when the landscape decides to go uphill or down, and the canal has to follow suit by means of locks. When approaching a lock, it is up to the more energetic members of the party to manipulate the paddles and swing the lock gates leaving the water to do the lifting. Lock operation is very simple once you have been told how, and you have only to follow your instructions carefully to pass safely through every time. Working locks is half the fun of taking a pleasure cruise on the canals, and provides welcome exercise in between spells of just swanning along.
The largest family boat of the British Waterways hire fleet is the four to six berth water class cruiser. Between 40 and 45 feet in length, her beam is still within the seven foot limit of the narrow canals. to six berth vessel is equipped with all sleeping and cooking requirements, electric light throughout, and running water to galley and toilet. These craft may be hired with either a center well and wheel steering, or with the traditional tiller steering. This strange looking drawbridge is Morris Bridge on the Hlangochlan Canal. One of the courtesies expected of pleasure craft users is to operate opening bridges with care and to close them again across the waterway once their vessel has passed through. For a cruising holiday on a low budget, you can't beat the 19 foot long water baby as these girls have discovered. In addition to the two foam rubber berths, color gas ring and all necessary fittings, water babies, although they are really two berth boats, carry crockery and cutlery for four persons. This is because a third adult or two kiddies can sleep in the well under the waterproof awning. The twin cylinder Johnson outboard motor is mounted inboard in these boats, an installation that combines the advantages of both types of propulsion. Water Miss class cruiser, while providing a luxury holiday for two people, has ample accommodation for four. 24 feet in length, Water Miss offers full headroom, a spacious saloon and galley, and a full-sized toilet compartment. She is 6 feet 10 inches in beam, and wheel steering is provided. The 10 horsepower Johnson motor, again installed inboard, is encased in a soundproof compartment below the after deck. The motor can be removed for servicing or replacement in a matter of minutes. With her sleek lines, Water Miss is a joy to watch in action and extremely compact to handle. Even Londoners are not always aware of the canal which runs through the heart of their metropolis, or of the water bus service which plies from Little Venice a romantic lagoon in unromantic Paddington to a still more exotic destination, the zoo. under the streets and factories of Maida Vale, passing within hailing distance of Lord's Cricket Ground, the Grand Union Canal is surely the most exciting way to approach every child's mecca. Soon, the roar of a lion and the trumpeting of elephants announce our arrival. And sure enough, the elephants are waiting near the landing stage, vacuum cleaner trunks at the ready for peanuts.
the zoo buses are all converted from former commercial canal boats, such as these. Whatever craft you may hire, you will meet the boat people, or boaters, who, still steeped in the traditions of the canals which have changed but little in 200 years, may be a little suspicious until they get to know you. When they do, you will find them helpful and willing to pass on invaluable and intriguing advice on canal life. They are a hard-working and colourful community, an interesting reminder of the heyday of canal traffic around the turn of the 18th century. They still retain their own boating terms, quite different from nautical language, and are still painting their traditional roses and castles as they have for two centuries. A welcome survival in an age when such arts are fast disappearing. For the hard cases, who like to take their amusement with them, the converted canal boat offers a pleasant outing for a day, half day or evening trip. Two and eight, twenty-eight. <laughs> All the twos, twenty-two. These players are apt to miss the passing scenery. Not so these youngsters. They are doing nature study the easy way. A kind of nature ramble without blisters. When they finally tie up alongside, it isn't just to catch sticklebacks, but to have a picnic. Ah, school days. From school days afloat to business and social functions afloat. On British Waterways luxury day cruiser Fair Lady, you might come across a director's meeting or business conference. A sister ship Fair Maiden of Leeds operates similar cruises on the broad northeastern waterways. How fitting that the staff of the Bank of Bangkok should elect to hold a party on the water. After the teeming canal life of Thailand, the scene of our waterways must seem tranquility itself. Their ladies' hire includes the services of crew and hostess. There's a fully licensed bar and room for two dozen people to dine in the after part of the vessel. Catering can be arranged to suit the hirer's needs. In her time, Fair Lady has been the setting for cocktail parties, fashion shows and even wedding receptions. It is also worth remembering that when one is waterborne, there's nobody to shout, Time, gentlemen, please. luxury cruise, which is the last word in relaxation, cannot do better than embark at Nottingham one summer afternoon for a five-day trip aboard Water Wanderer on the broad waters of the River Trent of the Fosdyke Canal. Cruising at a lazy pace through the heart of England, Water Wanderer's sun deck gives a grandstand view of the lovely scenery between Nottingham and Lincoln.
Water Wanderers guests sleep in comfortable single or double cabins aboard their floating hotel, each overnight stop being chosen for its links with the past. The first of these is the ancient town of Newark, with Roman and Saxon origins. You glide under the walls of the castle where King John died, and from the parapets of which the Cavaliers three times defied Cromwell's siege. Lincoln is approached next day along Britain's oldest canal, the Fosdyke, constructed by the Romans. The cathedral, superb on its hill and triple towered, is unique in that its construction spanned four centuries from the time of William the Conqueror. Many Americans taking this trip seized the opportunity to visit Boston from Lincoln. If you want a holiday where you are waited on hand and foot from morning tea in bed till supper time, then it's Water Wanderer for you. Wherever you decide to cruise on the inland waters, you will never be far from the traditions of the Britain of yesterday. On the Severn navigation, you might find yourself mixed up in one of the popular boat rallies. At Upton on Severn, they combine it with the local ox roasting. or even without this mouth-watering excuse, you will want to try the friendly pubs along the route. You can always find a pint, fuel and stores in even the smallest village along the way. And on the waterways, there is no shortage of mooring places. visit the brand new Coventry Cathedral to see the glory that our church builders can still achieve. Perhaps you will find an old Tudor street or a dozy village with an ancient church shadowing the sleeping generations who worshipped in it. content just to rub shoulders with the ever-growing number of private craft, whose owners love England's inland waterways and the peace and seclusion they afford. For all cruising enthusiasts, British waterways have four yacht basins strategically placed to be available even to seagoing craft. Here at Starport, for instance, Private owners can lay up their craft for the winter or take advantage of the excellent facilities for refitting and repairs. Obviously, some of the boats using these particular waters are not canal boats. Boating fraternity is the friendliest lot of people you could hope to meet, which is yet another enticement to hire a boat and get away from it all. Be it for a day on Fair Lady, or five days on Water Wanderer, be it a luxury trip for two in Water Mist.
aboard the most economical cruise of all in a water baby. Or will it be a family affair in the four to six berth craft? Whichever vessel you choose, you can rely on British waterways to help you plan your holiday afloat down to the smallest detail. Once you have known the joy of mooring miles from anywhere for a quiet supper, once you have been lulled to sleepiness by the gentle lap of the water, it is doubtful if you will ever again face those holiday jams with the more haste, less speed brigade on the roads. Why not decide now to explore the inland waterways?